Hi, everyone. Let's talk token economies and token boards. Um, honestly, I know there's a lot of mixed reviews out there. Let's let's be honest. Let's lay it out. Um, I want to be truthful about it. Um, there are a lot of mixed reviews for it. Um, however, there are there's a time and a place for everything, right? Everything is not black and white. There's a gray to it. Um, so if you feel like you are at a point where a student needs some type of schedule or structure or understanding, like working to earn a break, working to earn something, uh, working to kind of get to the end goal, whatever that end goal is. Um, I have a free token system for you that you can use, print, easy, ready to go, um, that I'm going to share with you. And so I want to share a couple different things that um, I have and kind of how I've set it up in a couple different ways. So if you have a student who's using something like this, if you're not familiar what a token system looks like, they're getting a cross off, a check, a smiley face, a sticker, something to show that they are completing work to get something else, right? A break just to be done, something of that sort. Um, and it does not have to be five. You can also have the option to have four. Um, and I've printed it on pretty colored paper because I think it just makes it a little bit better. Um, you can do it as a three, but again, um, I put a break time or you've put choice at the end. So I did want to make sure to highlight that. Um, you can also leave it as a blank. So if you want this and then he can or the student or you can put in what they're working for or what they want, you know, maybe it's a snack. Maybe it is their iPad. Maybe it is something, you know, um, or again, you might have a student working at like maybe a one. Like you need one step and you get a thing, one step and you get a thing. Um, I also have it set up vertically and horizontally. So horizontally is what you just saw. Here's vertically. If you want to do that with one, two, three, four, five, they do five things. Um, I'm also realizing you could do it the opposite way and go five, four, three, two, one. Um, super easy to do. If that's something you want to do. Again, vertically um, with a break at the end, vertically with choice, vertically with done, and vertically with done. So there's lots of different ways that you could do that. Um, I actually might laminate these. I kind of like these, how they look. Um, so let me show you a little bit more inside. Awesome. So here is the resource that you would download for free. Um, again, it comes on white paper. I've just printed it on colored paper so that it makes it a little bit more fun. You can decide if the vertical is where you want to go um, or if you want to go horizontal, you can do that as well. There, like I said, there's the option of done choice time, break time, blank, if that's where you want to go, done, choice time, break, or blank. Um, so again, you might want to put in a token for what the student is actually earning at the end. Maybe they have a token of a picture of, I don't know, SpongeBob. And so they get to work for SpongeBob um, to watch a video, that kind of thing. So, um, and then again, that horizontal is here. And that vertical is below. I'm going to keep scrolling. See, look at all these things that you're getting for free. Um, so it starts on page 21. So you get nearly 20 pages of things, depending on how many your student is working for, how many cross-offs they get before they earn, all of that kind of stuff. So again, free download. You are welcome to have it. I will leave the link below. Um, print it on colored paper to make it a little bit prettier. Um, like I said, I'm looking at this like hot pink one. And I don't know, I'd be really motivated to, to have a hot pink board here. Oh, how fun. So anyways, if you have questions about a token economy or token boards, you are welcome to comment below. Um, again, if you feel like you are just at a spot where a student just needs some more structure to understand, I need to do this task or a task, and then I, I get a break, I get a whatever, um, these are great places to start. So hopefully it's been helpful for you.